me, I want what's coming to me. Oh, well, what's coming to you, Tony? The world, Chico. And everything in it. What happens when the world is yours, and then you lose it? Just remember, I only tell you one time. Don't fuck me, Tony. Don't you ever try to fuck me. I'm Tony Montana, a political prisoner from Cuba. I gotta carve him up real nice. You know something about cocaine? All that. Lesson number one. Don't underestimate the other guy's greed! <laughs> you two, get the ale. Let's get this straight. I never fucked anybody over in my life. Didn't have a coat. Damn! You still got the money? Yeah. And I got the ale. My gift to you. I said be happy with you guy. You'll be happy. Me, I want what's coming to me. Oh, well, what's coming to you, though? The world, Chico, and everything in it. This country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. That's right. Lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. Of course, not everybody follows the rules, huh? Do you know what a hustle is, friend? That's a pig. The don't fly straight. You fucking cockroach. Oh, no, you uh, that piece of shit. No, no, no! All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. You have a problem, Tony. We have a problem. You need people like me, so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. This is so fucking bad. You think I killed two kids and a woman? Fuck that! I don't need that shit in my life. I told you a long time ago, you fucking little monkey, not to fuck me! You die, motherfucker! What, you stupid fuck? Look at you now! Fuck Casper Gomez! And fuck the fucking Diaz, brother! Fuck him all!
play with you. You wanna play rap? Say hello to my new friend! Tony, come on, man! Jesus Christ, they're everywhere! We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you! We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car! Fucking go, man! Let's go! This way! This way! Over here, boss! to yourself. You fucked up. You fucked up good because you caused this. This everything. What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh, Antonio, man. Why didn't you fucking listen? Hey, Sosa! You thought you could take me? No! No, I take Tony Montana down by me! You hear me, Sosa, you cocksucker? No one but me. You did me a favor, you shit. Got rid of my baggage. Made me lean like before. Okay. What you gotta do to make it right? To get everything back. Sosa! The prick gotta die! Gonna bring out a war against that fuck! Anybody who tried to work with him, fuck him up! Gotta talk to Chef. Set things straight. Find out what he knows.
Sheffield and Associates, how can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello? You there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. Do you want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Through the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here, too. Watch your back, Tony. Thanks, man. If you want any free legal advice, how about a little head? Seriously. We need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? War. That's what. Sosa probably think I'm dead or run off or something. Well, I'm back, okay? This is my town, my world, George, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. I come to talk to you first because you know what's going on. You still work for me, George, huh? You still my lawyer? Tony, babe, you know the score. Ah, it's gonna be dangerous to be associated with you right now. Word's gonna spread that you're back in town. Can't do it. Spread the word, Chef. Come on, look at me. I know Miami. I'm gonna take it all back. You know it's true. So surprised taking all those other guys for a big ride. Caspar Gomez, Nacho Contreras, the Diaz brothers, they're all fucking worms. Hey, you want me? It's gonna cost you, Tony. And more than before. None of that chicken feed either. Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just as bad as me. But I'm alive, George. I'm alive. And now what you gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You want to get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Hey, who'd you call in, little man? I kicked your ass all over the dance floor, okay? Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh, you guys don't quit. You're like a, like a fucking cockroach, always looking for that hole to crawl into and worm your way in. Look, buddy, we know what you're up to. We've got our eyes on you now. Watch for us. We're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck. delivery. Hell, we might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. Felix, how'd you doing, man? Oh, shit. It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? You're still working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small-time suppliers. Surprise! All that gonna change. The others are pissed. Nacho Contreras and the Diaz brothers lost out. They heard about Sosa working with Gaspar. It's a war, Tony. They're all trying to take over what you had. Tell me what you know, man. I was at your storehouse two months ago, you know? I didn't know what was going on. Word on the street was that you were dead, so I had to look around. When I got there, I recognized a couple of your guys, but then I saw Gaspar. He was inside, watching over the loading of a delivery truck. I bought a couple of keys off them, but the price was jacked. It's been tough since you left, Tony. There are only a few independent dealers you can trust anymore. That's all gonna change. Do you work for me? We take this town by the balls. I'm with you, Tony, if you need me, man. I need to start making my own moves. Gotta get back in, you know? Gonna have to pay off the vice to get my mansion back, fuckers. From there, we can rebuild the business. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the Grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. Give me a scotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No, but you've been here before. A long time ago, you were with another man. Tall, good-looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. 
Felix forgot to mention that. Felix? <laughs> that dog? He owes me a night out. You know each other? Felix is working for me now. He said you might be interested in what I got to offer. Well, that's fine in the boy, isn't it? Look, supply is tight in Miami right now. Expensive. All my shit's being controlled by Gaspar Gomez. That prick keeps the prices too high. I know this town better than anyone. I get the shit, you sell it. I collect my coat, you keep yours. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. What do you go by? Montana. But you can call me Tony, okay, Posica? Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. The others around, though, just can't always trust them. Me? I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're Vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Mel Bernstein tried this shit on me once, and it didn't work out so good for him, you know. Mel? He wasn't a team player, Montana. You did us all a favor. Look, Montana, Miami is our backyard. The people pay us to make sure scumbags like you keep the economy nice and stable. We don't want to get in the way unless you force us to, understand? Our boys in the street keep tabs on you. You start doing too many things that upset the people, then your heat goes up. If your heat gets too high, then we'll be forced to make a house call. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> Watching you, boy. Felix, it's Tony. Hey, Tony. Did you see Coco? Oh, yeah. She said you're terrible in bed, man. Look, I got my old house back. The fucking vice. This place could use a cleaning, you know, like, uh, like a maid or something. Felix, you know what you were saying about Gaspar working out of that storehouse? Yeah, Tony. What do you think that cockroach is doing? What kind of operation is he running here? Well, it looked like he was running cash out of there. I saw an armored van in one of the delivery bays. He's probably smuggling cash for laundering. It's a lot of guards, but not impossible to get a look. You want me to go in? No, that's okay, man. I paid that Hassa a visit myself. I have a message for Gaspar. It needs to be delivered in person. Yeah, I'll have to check with Mr. Gomez first. Who may I ask is the message from? You tell him that Tony Montana is on his way up to settle a debt. Just a minute, please, sir. Sir, I insist that you stop. I, I will have to call security, sir. You're like some kind of wild animal, and I like that. It's not that I'm all about money. It's just what else is there. This is a great life. Cooking is good, man. It's stronger than a Yankee dollar. Who the fuck are you? Where's Gaspar? Who am I? I work for Mr. Gomez. I handle his security. Look like you need to upgrade. Where's the Hassa? I want to talk to him in person. It's none of your motherfucking business. But let's just say Gaspar's on a business trip, Tony. Why you gotta talk to me like that, huh? Like you got some fucking baseball bat up your ass or something. You would know what that feels like, Guano. The next thing out of your mouth is gonna be your teeth, puto! Adios, amigo. Hello. I'd like to make a deposit. Can I have your account number, please? And I'd like to talk to my manager, Jerry. Mr. Montana? 
Oh. What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Well, n no. Uh, Jerry will be pleased to see you, Mr. Montana. Oh, I bet. How much would you like to deposit today? You kidding or what? Did you see that truck out there? Okay. Perhaps you should talk to Jerry personally. He's in his office. He's regional manager now. Is that so? Look like Jerry done well for himself, huh? You can come in through the teller door. I'll buzz you in and inform Jerry that you're on your way. Hello, Jerry. Tony, it's good to see you. Oh, you too, Jerry. Look like you've done pretty well for yourself. What, this? Just climbing the corporate ladder. You know how it is. Gotta take care of the family, right, Tony? Oh, but you gotta look out for yourself first. Right, Jerry? Tony, sit down. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm okay. Okay. It's been a while, Tony. How can we help you? Help me? Jerry, come on, man. I'm the one who's helping you, remember? Or this? This hasn't come from selling Girl Scout cookies, man. I took a little vacation, you know? And things got a little bit crazy. But that's done. I'm back, Jerry. Look, Tony, you have to understand my position. Look at it from my side. <sighs> I, I can't lie to you, Tony. I like you. I consider you as a friend. Oh, that's good, Jerry. You're really good, you know? I see that look in your eye, you know? I can read you like a fucking book. I can see this is dangerous for you. It's dangerous for everybody now. I'm back. You show me some balls right now, and we can make this work again, okay? You be my banker, Jerry. We go right to the top. How much are you bringing in? I got a truck full of it outside. Right. You've always been a good customer, I respect that, but I'm running a legitimate business here, and I'm gonna keep it that way. I'll open a new account for you, but you have to allow my bank to take a percentage out of your deposits to help cover the tracks. Look, I know how it works, Jerry. I'm going to fight you on this. Every deposit I make, I'm not going to let you watch your fucking hands in the money I risk my life for. Fuck that. Welcome back, Tony. I'll authorize your new account. If you return downstairs, you can work out the details with Susan. Okay, Mr. Montana, your new account has been activated. Anytime you wish to make a deposit, you can return to any of our branches and negotiate a rate. And as a valued customer, we'd like you to have this. What the fuck is this? A magazine? No, I don't want any junk mail, okay? You can take me off your list. It's a catalog. You can use it to purchase items reserved for our more influential clients. Oh, yeah? Can I buy a tiger from this thing? I believe that the tiger will be made available soon, yes. This is Felix. Yeah, Felix. It's Tony. Did you get into Gaspar's penthouse? See what he's up to? Yeah, the fat fuck wasn't there, but I managed to get a few things. I got this new phone, some sort of satellite voice tracking shit. I think the Russians made it. Those commies are probably listening to us right now, but I don't give a fuck. We got other things to worry about, man. Felix, we need to buy some kind of business, you know? We need, like, a front so we can increase the flow of product to the street. You got some leads? Hmm. I don't know, Tony. Maybe. Uh, there's a pawn shop in Little Havana. You know about it? What, you mean Pedro's? Yeah, that's it. Everybody got a price, man. Pedro's Pawn Shop. ¿Y qué pasa, man? I hear you trying to sell this place. How about I pay you in cash, you work for me, and we go straight to the top. How'd you like that? Sounds fucking great, but the cops... One of my contacts told me they're coming to check up. If they find all these hot goods, they'll shut me down. I got to go get rid of them right away. I took care of your chip, man. The cops won't find anything now. Holy fucking shit, thanks, Tony. Coño, I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Cabana Cigar. Hey, que pasa, man? I got an offer for you. I buy your store. I make you a socio de negocio, okay? Together, we bring in only the best. Muy bien, but I can't sell you this store unless I get my papers back. My accountant ran off with a local thug, and together they're trying to take over the cigar market. If you find her, you can get what we need. 
Your counter wasn't very good with numbers, man. Gracias, Tony. It is with great pleasure that I sell you my store and be part of your empire. Oakley Drive-In Theater. I always wanted to own my own drive-in, you know? This is America. I can sit in my car and watch Bogart on the big screen. I got the catch, how much? It's all yours, man, but you gotta deal with these punk-ass kids who've taken over the lot. They think they're some sort of demolition derby gang or something. Watched Grease too many times, if you ask me. It's taken care of. You're gonna have to have a Bogart with, man, okay? Just start with the treasure of Sierra Madre. I love Walter Houston in that one. It's all yours now. I can't wait to see what we start bringing in. You don't own this storehouse anymore, putas. Tony Montana is taking it all back. The Diaz brothers want a war? They got a war. You got that? Is it? Is this what it's all about? Killing, driving, dealing, swearing. Then what? You're 50, you got a bag for a belly, you got tits, you need a bra, they got hair on them, you got a liver, you got spots on them, and you're looking like these rich fucking mummies. in the eyes, man. Who fucking sent you, huh? Sosa? <laughs> What's so funny, huh? You're gonna die, man. I don't give a fuck. What do you think, Montana? Huh? You think Sosa is the only one who wants you dead? Gaspar? Fuck you, Montana. The Diaz brothers send their regards. I hope they treated your mama well. Mama? No! <laughs> What kind of sick fuck eats a pancake for dinner? Holy shit! You and your fucking brother are dead! Yo, Pablo? Mr. Montana, oh yeah, it's good to meet you. Sheffield's waiting for us close by. It's not comfortable being seen in public with you right now. He believes you're too hot. Sheffield's a pussy. That's why he's a lawyer. What do you know about Elvi? Bueno, Mr. Sheffield wouldn't tell me. That's, uh, that's personal information between him and you. Just to help. Where are we going? I well, thought it might be appropriate to meet up at the old Freedom Town. You know, when you got your start in America. Freedom Town? That place was a fucking prison, man. There's nothing free about that one. I work my way out of that. What it goes down now. Good for private meetings. Shepherd says in regards. Have a nice trip. Fucking prick. You fuck with me, you die, okay? Brady's liquor store. I'm gonna buy this place from you. I got the cash right here. Just show me where to sign my name. I'd love to, man, but I'm between a rock and a hard place full of assholes who want to destroy the business. A bunch of goons been trying to muscle in on my profits, and I've been tipped off that they're coming to shoot the place up any second. Oh, those cockroaches won't be coming back. Do you want to work for me now? Oh, hell yeah, man. This place is yours if you want it, and I'll definitely keep working for you. You're the fucking man, Tony. If 
Fidel's records and tapes. Okay, man. I'm gonna make you a special one-time offer. I buy your business, you work for me, I doubled your pay. How'd you like that? Fucking A. But the FBI's investigating me. Look, here's the deal. They'll take the store if I don't recover and destroy three mixtapes. You see, I backwards masked some crazy devil worship chants on them. If you get the tapes, I'll definitely work for you. You'll be fucking sorry, motherfucker! What? You fucking missed me, bitch! Fuck me. Die! Come on! Die, motherfucker! Come on, cocksucker! Come on! Come on! Die! Die, motherfucker! Oh, piece of shit! Oh, I destroyed your devil music, man. You gotta stay away from that shit if you're gonna work for me, okay? Oh, no, it won't be a problem, Tong. I'm born again. Nothing but easy listening from now on. I'm ready to expand your empire. I got connections from here to L.A. Eugene Shatkanbar. Hey, you got a nice place here. Kinda like a sewer, you know? Maybe you wanna sell it, come work for me? Have you making some real money instead of this nickel and dime shit? <sighs> I could use a vacation. <laughs> but not until I get some shit sorted out first. My bastard ex-boyfriend left me knocked up. And the whole time he was out fucking my waitresses. Then that shoppy cleaned out my safe and blow all the money at some off-track betting place. So is that something you can help me with? If you do that, I'll be happy to do anything for you. I'll help you out with anything, anything. Wouldn't be the first time. So, you ready to invest in this place or what? The Babylon Club. Jack, I got an offer for you. You summit the Babylon Club, and I keep you as the manager while I conduct business. You can't go wrong, okay? This will be the most successful club in Miami. Tony Darling, I'm your humble servant as always, but I have to tell you something. One of our VIPs is the man who manages the club's accounts. He's a very influential man with the bank, and our security has been put on alert tonight because of a death threat against him. We need to ensure his safety if we are to ever sell the club, Mr. Montana. Your VIP is still alive, but the club has damaged goods, you know? Perhaps we can work out a discounted price. I look forward to working for you, Mr. Montana. Just tell me who you like verbally abused, and I'll comply with flying colors. Nacho, that fat fucking hassle! Good morning, it's my friend, it's you. Time to go to war. This is property of Tony Montana now! You got a good setup. I give you that. Hey, I take precautions. Old Sosa thought he ran me out, but I was waiting for someone to take the fight to him. Well, now you've arrived. And with your storehouses and my supply, we could rule Miami. You on the islands? 
And me in Miami. You grow it, I sell it. Sounds like a good deal to me, man. Hey, I just want a safe place to sell my goods. You have respect for this business, Tony. You are someone I can trust. I trust is all you got, you know? Well, then we can do business. I got more on these islands than Sosa and Bolivia anyway. I own this island. No one does anything here without my word. Hey, you just say the word, and I'm ready to go, okay? Okay, okay. I'll set it up. I like the way you work, Montana. Showing up here with no backup. That takes balls. Hey, I figure you want me that easier to kill me in Miami, right? Besides, like you said, I don't die so good. <laughs> That's true. Let's focus on Sosa, huh? We both want him dead. From your mouth to God's ears, I'm the guy that can make that happen. Do you know why I can get a decent drink around here? Sure. I know just the place. Down the road, you'll find the Venus Bar. My ex-girl runs it. She hears everything. A good source. Thanks, man. Hey, Tony. Watch your step. She's a tiger. I need a drink. Is this your bar? It is today. Might not look like much, but she got it where it counts. Our distinguished clientele keeps me informed on everything that happens on these islands. So what? So you can gossip to the cops or something? Make a little money? You apparently haven't met any of our fine local law enforcement. Making some money, though. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's what makes life worth living, ain't it? Okay. Now you speak my language, baby. Here's my number. You call me any time, okay? I make it worth your while. Mm-hmm. That's tempting. You maybe could do me a favor first, huh? There's some big fat asshole on Black Sands that think he the big shit on a very small pot. Keeps fucking up the local girls. Hey, what you talking about? He likes beating women. Gets them off. Then he dumps the bodies off the back of his casino and lets the sharks clean up the mess. What's his name, chica? You want, I do him for you. Nacho something. Nacho Contreras? The fat fuck with no neck? I do you a favor, you do me a favor, okay? Sure, Tony. That's the way it works down here. As long as I don't have to swallow. Swallow? Hey, we talk about that later, baby, okay? You shouldn't play with money, baby. It's bad for your skin. I don't play with money. I make it. What, you cut off in money? No. I run accounts for this casino. It's my job to make sure it makes money. Okay, but you're far too good looking to be in accounts, you know? You should work for me in Miami. I have a much nicer place than this piece of shit, I tell you that. I'm not sure if Nacho would approve. Nacho Contreras? That fucking guy. Do you know him? He's on my list. Well, you can probably speak to him yourself. He should be here any minute. He loves to bet on the cocks. What the fuck is this? Montana? You're supposed to be dead! Sosa fucking killed you! Get that Cuban piece of shit off of my boat! I'll be right back, baby. Now, Nacho, you fucking hassa! Fuck you, Montana! I won't give you the pleasure Sosa will get to you. You can count on that! That's good, you know? I want him to find me. I want that piece of shit to fucking come and get me. Why don't you tell him, Contreras, okay? Tell him to fucking go and get me! See you in hell, Montana! Give my regards to Manny and Gina, you piece of shit! Beat me up, you cocksuckers! Hey, que pasa, man? What's the problem? You don't understand. These guys hit black markets all over the world. They're organized, smart. Then let's welcome them to the fucking club, okay? Give them an invitation they never forget. 
Well, pickup isn't until three. These guys, I can feel them coming already. We need to hold them off until my boys arrive. Hey, you know how to handle a machine gun? What I look like? Some kind of stewardess? A Tony Montana. Trouble's coming, man. These guys, they're killers. Now what, man? If this asshole, goddamn informer son of a bitch, gets to the DEA before we get to him, he'll bust up this entire operation. <laughs> we'll be looking at 20 years of Danbury. Watch, man, you know? Gonna have a fucking heart attack. Excuse me? This is my job we're talking about. I take my job seriously, man. It's all I got. I'll pay you to stop this fucker. What do you say, man? Nacho operates a cargo ship just offshore. He just finished loading tons of the White Devil before you killed his ass. <laughs> Good riddance, too, I say. My boys will fly into the scene, Slick. Hey, thanks for your help. Take care. And don't get your ass shot off, all right? Where'd you come from? We were put into these containers for our freedom in America. Containers? What the fuck? What's your name? Maribel. <laughs> we're looking to start new lives in America. I know exactly how you feel. As payment for freeing us, we will do any work you ask of us. Many of us have uh, special skills that may prove useful to you. Hello? Tony, Venus. You know it's costing a fucking fortune to call you on that stupid new phone of yours. Okay, so make it quick. I don't have all day either, baby, you know? Okay, then. I found out that Nacho's big front in Miami is an auto chop shop that he runs out of the industrial park. You should probably check it out when you get there. Thanks, baby. How many maricons you served today? None since you left. Bye, Antonio. Hey, leeching that. Can't you drive this boat? Yes, yes we can. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Macau, fast food. Listen to me. You sell me your restaurant, you work for me, together we take this town. I am so sick of running this shit, I'd love to work for you. But I got a wedding party coming in and they demanded shark fucking fin soup. You know how hard it is to get that? Bride gets a shop if I don't comply. You got your sharks, man. I hope the bride got what she deserved. Well, hell, Tony, I'm grateful. You know what? I am gonna sell you this place. I'll work for you. Cipeso Trattoria. Okay, you know who I am. I'm offering you the chance to become part of my empire, okay, right now. You sell me your business, work for me, I'll make more money than you can imagine. I provide you security as well. I can imagine plenty of money, and I don't need your tiny protection. I control my own destiny. I killed a mob boss just yesterday because he was so fucking fat. You think I worried about such a thing? You dumb motherfucker. Go away. Now. Oh, don't need my protection, huh? If you don't sell me this place right now, I'm gonna kill you myself. How'd you like that? All right, all right. You proved yourself. I work for you now. I'm gonna make you proud. The Swan Song Hotel. Turn it up, Miami. I'll miss. You know, I've been looking for a hotel to add to my collection. You got this place for sale? How much? I take it off your hands, you keep working for me and the Montana Empire. If this fucking lawyer hadn't embezzled money from us, we wouldn't be selling the place. But, as it is, we have no choice. The fucker will keep doing it, too. If you're serious about buying the hotel, I suggest you do something about Mr. Big Shot Fucknut first. Problem solved, man. You can take the sharks in the harbor. Oh, very good, Mr. Montana. The hotel will prosper under your control.
the Sandre Hotel. This place I never like. My friend Angel was killed here. I owe it to him to make this place special, you know? I want to buy it from you. You know, I've been looking to sell the Sunray for years, but until its reputation improves, it's worth nothing. I can't seem to stop dealers from using it for business. It seems like someone is killed here every week. There's a dealer upstairs right now who seems extremely unstable. Nothing gets my nose out of joint as fast as someone trying to hustle me. Hey, how's it going? You gonna stand there all day? Huh? Who's your daddy? What, you fucking high or what? Take it easy, pal, huh? You strapped? Huh? You carry? You wired? Keep your Vaseline paws out of your pants, okay? Hey, uh, where's your buddies? Huh? Huh? You didn't come alone, did you, pal? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I take care of myself. You know it. You know it. Step into my office. My name's Jimmy. Don't fuck with me, Jimmy, okay? You don't want to fuck with me, I'm telling you. And you double-cross me? You dig in your own grave, man. Here's an angle. You die. I eat your heart. I thereby inherit all your inner strength. But I wouldn't want your strength, see? Because you, pal, are a fucking pussy. So run. Run. And you don't ever, never fucking look back. Surprise, bitches. Uh, Jimmy won't be coming back anytime soon, you know? He went on a uh, permanent vacation. Sell me this place and I'll make a name for it again, okay? No more trouble. Sounds great to me, Mr. Montana. The Sunray is all yours. Fuck this! I did. Name's Logan. Now it looks like I'm independent again, thanks to you. Okay, do you want a job? You work for me now, man. The trucks are ready and loaded with the coke from the tanker. You just need to make the delivery safe and sound. I gotta warn you, words already hit the streets that Nacho is out of the picture. Gomez and the Diaz brothers will be looking to expand. Let those pieces of shit come to me, okay? I'm ready now. Thank you for helping me to freedom. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, Tiger. I got a nice place to stay if you ever need, you know? <laughs> claro. Oh, I could use a fucking drink. Hey, this dump looks like it could use some cash. Do you want to be rich? Sell me your business and come work for me. Shh. Calmate, could you keep your voice down, please? I would love to make some serious money, but I cannot with all these fucking cops hanging around all the time demanding free donuts and coffee. Get them to leave, and maybe then we can come to some kind of arrangement, agreement, something. Está bien? God, I love this job. Who took the last donut? Cops are gone, man. 
Now maybe we can get down to business. All right. Look, pay off the mortgage on this place and it's yours. I can't wait to start making some real money. Whip it! Gambling! Place looks like it makes money. I bet I can help you make a fuckload more. How'd you like that? You wanna do business with me, man? I've been hearing about you. I could use the extra cash. Doc sells me braces, wife needs value, and my girlfriend needs new teeth. I'm afraid if you can help me solve one outstanding debt. Little fuckwad that's been owing me some serious cash for way too long now. You up for doing a little collections as a show of good failure, Ms. Yatoni? I got your cash in my hand and his blood on my shoes. You ready to do some business now? Oh, merci, Ms. Yotoni. You are a solid stand-up kind of guy. Nothing like that fat fuck Gaspar. I'll sell my operation to you. Then you can tell me how I fit into your big plans. Okay? Peninsula Gentleman's Lounge. I like this place. You got style, man. Maybe you want to attract the richer clientele here, though, huh? I think I can help you with that. How about you let me buy this place? You can run it. And I get a cut of the profits off the top. Okay, okay. Tremenda filter. But I got problems. This dirty cop has been pushing me around for protection money. The fucker was just here. Take him out, and maybe we can do some business aquí. That dirty prick won't be around to hassle you no more, sweetheart. I do you a favor, you do me one, okay? How about you let me buy out this little venue? Yes, I like your style, Tony. Un hombre que no le tiene miedo a la policía. Now you pay my debts, and the place is all yours. Stein Jewelers. You know, this is my favorite store in Miami. How about I pay you for it and keep you on as my manager? Good. Good for you, my boy. But you see, there'll be nothing left for you to buy if we don't put an end to the gang that keeps robbing our bank. We keep most of our jewelry stuck in the bank, you see, to save on insurance premiums. Actually, we don't pay no insurance at all, so you see, if it's stolen, we're done for. Hey, nothing to worry about anymore, man. I make sure we keep it all protected. I cannot thank you enough, Tony. Coco's Lounge and Disco. Coco said you're looking to sell this place. I'm here to make that happen. Selling won't solve my problem, and I wouldn't have to if my stupid daughter didn't get involved with the wrong people all the time. For all I know, you're one of them. I've been forced to pay for protection. I can't afford it anymore, and now Gaspar Gomez is sending his quadrilla to force me out. Did you work for me? Do you have all the protection you'll ever need? Tony, Tony, thank you, Tony, thank you. I love to work for you. The lounge is yours when you want it. Thank you, Tony. Okay, cocksuckers, you got one choice now. Gaspar's gonna lose everything he ever had to me. The war's almost over, you got that? Come on, who's gonna face me? The Colombians have hit back hard. I told you, man, they're on fucking top for a reason. I know how strong they are, Tony. We started this war, we're gonna finish it. They found my processing lab, shut it down, and are holding many of our workers hostage. 
We need to move in and clean this shit up. Fuck. We need deep in this shit now. Tony, it's good to see you. How are you? Could use a fucking vacation, man. But as long as that fuck Sosa lives, I can never rest. I know that. I want this for you, Tony. I do. You have done a lot for me, and now it's about time that I help you. What you got in mind, man? I want to sell my plantation to you, Tony. You can own the biggest source of product this side of Colombia. You got the support system in place, and you own Miami. This would ensure that you have a constant, secure supply. It will complete your empire and allow you to focus on what's really important. Sosa. This is good, man. Real good. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, okay? Good luck, Tony. Gentlemen, I wish to discuss something that is of interest to all of us here. I have a problem. We have a problem. Uh, get to the point, Alex. Montana's been a fly on our shit ever since you sent your hit squad to Miami. Since then, he's been on a goddamn mission to personally fuck us in the ass. Yes. Well, I might remind you that you haven't been any more successful at taking care of Montana than I have. Mr. Gomez. Hey, I never had a problem with him until you stirred the pot. I hold you responsible, Alex. And the only reason I'm here is to make sure that I get a deal out of this. Ah, fuck. Why don't you two stop bickering about who fucked up where? Put your money where your mouth is. Sosa, you have connections with the military here. Give him some money and roll some tanks on the prick. Come on. Do you believe our friends in Washington would approve of Bolivian tanks on the streets of Miami, George? Fuck Washington. I got them in my back pocket. A few greenbacks spread to the right hand, you make them look the other way for a day, never hurt anybody. Jesus Christ, you fucking lawyers are all the same. Montana has declared war on everybody in Miami, and he's obviously not going to stop until he steps into this goddamn living room. Tony, baby, hey, hey, come on, you need to think about this. You gotta think a little more. Fuck you, George, you fucking worm. Put the fucking gun away. What are you, crazy? Why are you, are you on drugs? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess, okay, well. I bet you fucking die. Fuck me in the ass. This is my law, George. Holy shit, Montana, how the fuck did you get here? How many babies have you eaten today, Gaspar, huh? Babies? What the fuck are you talking about? You still fuck up on your own supply? Fucking addict. You have no respect for this business. All I care about is Sosa's head on a platter to serve to the fucking dogs. Uh. It's over, Gaspar. It's over for you now. You hear? Uh. Oh, So, how's this going to work, Tony? How do we solve our problem? You're going to die, Alex, for everything you've done in your entire life. <laughs> what about what you did? I told you not to fuck me, and you did, Tony. There were kids in the fucking car, Alex! Innocent kids, huh? What kind of animals you got working for you? I want to clear something up with you, Tony, before I kill you. When you move 400 kilos a month, it's imperative that you do kill children. That way, heroes don't get confused and go on 60 minutes. They instead crawl back into the hole they came from. Hey, Sosa, maybe it's time for you to make that call, huh? Have a nice drink, Sosa, you stupid fuck. You see? I knew there wasn't a shortage of platters. 
Let me live, Tony. I need to support my family. It's all I got. Hey, look at me. I want to see your eyes. It's the truth. I swear. Please. You want a job, man? Ah, look at this bullshit! Who deserves to be on TV? Me! That's who! Who should be on every fucking magazine cover? Me! Family! Me! You got that right, baby. Vodka for Venus, gin for Tony. Hey, thanks, money. And you don't mind if I call you money, do you? Call me whatever you want, Tony. Okay, how about stupid fuck? How you like that, huh? Just get it, Manny. You know, the world is yours, Chico. And everything in it. So say goodnight to the bad guy. I'll play with you. 